Hey guys and welcome to Ooh La La Idol Adventure. Now this is a new idol game that came out probably five days to a week ago and I've been playing it ever since launch, just haven't been able to get too heavy into the game yet. I've just been busy this week so unfortunately I haven't got too far into it. Um, it's a really nice different sort of idol game. So if you are a fan of idol games, this thing, this game does change it up a little bit and you may want to check it out. Um, for me, I basically my gaming really got serious when I was younger playing World of Warcraft. And in a strange way, this game does remind me of it. You basically have eight classes you can play. There's two tank classes, uh, two healer classes, and then four DPS classes. And basically your character at the start, you're gonna choose a class and that's what you're gonna run through. Don't worry, you can make different characters as you unlock extra character slots. So you can end up experiment experimenting with all of the characters. Now, um, on this one, I'm a hunter. Really enjoy Hunters, it's what I've always been uh, in MMOs and stuff like that. So I'll, I love the dudes with the bow, so it's really nice. So you do have that one main class. Um, your character has a bunch of upgrades. You have gear upgrades, um, you get gear throughout the game. You can increase the quality of your gear slots. Really nice feature that. This is something I really like about this game. You don't increase a piece of gear, you increase that slot. So as you can see, if I go, if I go to say, which one? This one here, it's level 20, I go enhance and I can enhance that to level 21. If I swap that gear over with anything, you'll see it's still level 21. So you don't actually enhance the gear, you enhance the slot. I really do like that. Now, um, you also have skills, which once again, you up when you upgrade skills, you upgrade the slot, not the specific skill, and you can get better qualities of the skills and you unlock more skills as you go throughout it. You also have transcendence. Once you reach certain requirements, you can transcend and it sometimes changes the appearance of your character, gives them buffs and things like that. You then have attributes, which um, you ba it are basically kind of like a, a talent point system. You can put them into... Basically, you've got your tankiness, you've got your main damage stat, which is the agility for this guy, and then you've also got tech, which is like crit and stuff like that. So really nice little extra feature for that. Uh, all these other features I haven't unlocked yet. Um, that's one criticism of the game. Uh, well, there's two actual criticisms. One, my next video that I do make for this game will be a tutorial for the game, because when you jump into the game for the first time, it does not give you a tutorial, and it's a game that I wasn't too familiar with, so I was really lost. If you look on the right here, this challenge button, basically, if you want to progress in the campaign, you have to hit that challenge button to challenge bosses. It took me about five minutes to figure that out because the game didn't tell me anything, so I was like, oh, damn. But um, but yeah, we'll get into that in another video, but this is the basic campaign. You basically just idle through killing enemies. You hit that challenge button. It will make you fight the next boss. If you don't beat it, you'll just have to hit that challenge button again until you do beat the boss and go on like that. We'll get more into this campaign in a second. The one other thing that I was mentioning is you don't unlock a lot of the content in the game for a long while. Um, so like if you look here, Arena, it's the level 35, I'm not there yet, and you have to finish the hunt season, which is I think 15 days. So it would have been nice if they let you just get into all this stuff early on and test it all out. Um, but unfortunately you don't, but that is my only main criticism of the game is the tutorial and the lack of getting into the content early. Cause I feel like if you want people to get into the game, you want to show them a bit of everything to test. For instance, one of my, my absolute favorite part of the game is pets. Like I was a big Pokemon kid growing up and I love catching them all. So this game has pets and that pets go into combat with you. It's just, it, it's, it's a really, really nice feature. Now the pets you can capture. And once again, this was another thing that took me a long time to get into. So if we go over here, you can actually I'll show you over here, you can cook food. So you, you gather ingredients for recipes as you go and you cook. Um, we throw the cooking in and obviously it cooks it up and then you get uh, the food out. And then you can put the food into this capture. And this is my favorite part of the game. Uh, we'll go one with a 30 minute. This has got a 30 minute, so it's not gonna cost me too much. Um, so I place that food there. Uh, the pets will come or the, the dinosaurs, the animals, whatever you wanna call them, will come eat it. And basically after that time's up, you can drop the gate cage and you will catch random pets. Uh, this one, I'm just gonna accelerate. It costs premium currency to accelerate, but who cares? We'll just do it and we'll see what we actually get. And it's really fun. It goes green, blue, and then obviously purple and then yellow for legend, rare and legendary. Um, each pet can actually come in any rarity of them. So you can get every pet in every rarity. Obviously you wanna be aiming for the legendaries. Um, I'm not sure about every pet, but maybe some might be legendary exclusive. That one really sucked. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into a capture. We're going to add food. 
we're, we're going to go a two hour one. Hopefully we get some better stuff. We're going to accelerate because we're on video. So YOLO and let's see what we get. Uh, like, cause this is, this is my favorite part. I love getting pets. I want something cool. At least purple. Yes. Purple. Come on. Yes. Yes. I like him. He looks cool. I do like that. Purple. Nah, rip. There are some weird looking pets. <laughs> Don't you worry about that. There's a, Ooh, another purple. There you go. I got I got a purple. I got an epic grade platypus. Nice. It's probably because I'm Australian. They, they they felt that and they gave it to me. Um, but yeah, as you can see here, I've got my honey badger as my only legendary pet. <laughs> really nice. But hey, you've got you've got a unicorn gorilla. It's like there's there's interesting stuff. So I really do like that. Um, the other features we do have in the game are a black market. It's your basic. Uh, shop type thing you can buy stuff for premium currency or the you know the standard currency in the game the next thing we do have is skill chests now the the sort of the summoning system in this game there's a lot of different ways to do it there's there's this which you can spend your premium currency on to open 10 and get skills so i've got these cards to get them so we'll just do one of these to show you what it actually happens when you summon a skill and, ooh, that's nice. That's my first epic skill on this character. On, on my alt characters, I've got so many epic skills. This character's just been unlucky. But that's how it happens. You summon skills, and then if I go over here to my character and I go skills, um, I can click on this one and I can replace it with that epic skill. Uh, that skill's already been equipped, so, okay, it's over here. I've got, I've got a weaker version of it. Swap it out, now I've got the epic version, which is better than the rare version. So, that's that. You can also use it on... Um, use your premium currency and I haven't figured out exactly like I said I need to sink into the game more this is just the first impressions but you can use your premium currency on actually doing the the, the feast capture which is um, if we look at the information here if you go down to the bottom feast capture it gives you a 12% chance to get a legendary um, pet and that's how I got my legendary pet because I'd rather summon for pets than, than skills I don't know if skills are better I'll still summon for pets because it's fun. <laughs> and like, that's what I want to do because, man, you just got to catch them all. It's the way it is. Um, the game has very just... The, the basic things you need, um, if you've got a gear upgrade, it'll tell you, like I said, um, if, you, if you can upgrade that gear slot, it'll give you the arrow, let you know, all that sort of thing. Now, we jump into the combat. Now, the combat, like I said, it's fully idle. And the way, I, the way it actually works is you can see on my character here, I have an energy bar. You can actually rotate the camera as well, but your character has an energy bar. And as that energy bar fills up, you're gonna use your skills, but it's gonna rotate through your skills. So you actually create a skill rotation when you do choose your skills. Um, then here we go into hunting, and then you'll see we will fight a boss. Now, the big thing about this game and like its big draw card is that it's a co-op idle game. So you, it's, it basically encourages you to play with your friends, group up and progress. And you can your your friends can actually progress for you while you're AFK um, doing other stuff. You know, you've got your phone locked, whatever. If one person in your group of four is still playing, they can actually help you out and keep you progressing. Now, I'm really keen to see what other team features it does have in the um, like after the first hunt season, which is 15 days, I think. And then you can unlock um, like more guild, like guild related content and arena and stuff like that. Really keen to see how that works. Now, when I talk about teams, if we go down the right here, down the bottom, you can see teams. I can look at my team. I can leave that team if I want. We can go to the notice board. This is where you're going to find your teams. Now, the, the best thing about this game is also going to be the worst thing about this game for some people. It's... Basically, you, you, you don't progress really unless you play with friends. So you can search here, find groups. Some of them will just say join, some of them will say apply. Um, if you're just looking for a quick get in with someone, just go to the join ones, they'll normally be lower level. Otherwise, you'll have to apply to join teams and then hopefully they accept you. You can always just make your own team and put it up for offer for people to join you as well. But like I said, it's a fantastic feature if you are being active in the game, social, um, trying to find groups and stuff like that over on discords or anything like that. Um, but if you don't and you're not on like Reddit or any other communities and you're not in the in-game chat and you're that type of person that just wants to play the game and progress, you're really going to be hamstrung if you don't have a good party. Um, as you can see here, the last member in my party is actually an NPC and they are absolutely trash, completely useless. So it really it really does mean you have to get a group of players um, to progress with. Otherwise, you just, you're gonna be 
pretty much screwed with your progression. So it's a fantastic feature. I love the fact that these idle games are actually encouraging team play and getting you to play with your friends. However, it can also be a downfall. For me, I haven't had a set team. I haven't gone looking for a team. So I, I've been sort of joining teams. Then when I come back from being AFK, I've been kicked from the team or the team's disbanded and then I'm trying to find another one. So for me in this first week, it's kind of sucked. But as I go further into the game, I get more time uh, to actually play around. I think I'll enjoy it more because I'll get friends. Any of you guys, you want to play, you want to team up, let me know. Um, but yeah, I feel like once you get further into the game, you get more friends in. It's going to be an enjoyable game. So I'm, like I said, I'm going to play this as my side game. Um, if I have time to make a spare video um, in a day, I'll probably make it about this. And, um, and yeah, just see how the progression goes, see how the game goes, and um, see how it does develop once we unlock all those extra features. And um, yeah, let me know what you guys think of the game. Uh, if you've been playing it, if you do just test it out. Um, like I said, it's definitely something very different enough to warrant testing it out as an idle game. It's not just the exact same formula that most of them do follow. It's completely, completely original type idea. And like I said, I do really like the class system and especially um, the catch mall pet system. So that is going to be it for this video, guys. Let me know what you think of the game. Um, let me know anything in the comments. I'll, I'll be sure to get back to you. But thanks for watching and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.